This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 3 of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt in all of its new gen glory people. Let's crack straight in. Uh, at the end of the last part, we were kind of cracking on with the Beast of White Orchard. However, I was just having a little think off DAS camera that... Steady. We might be better doing this little side quest, the Witcher contract first, because the Witcher contracts are level 2, whereas the Beast of White Orchard, which is part of our main quest, is suggesting level three we're still on level one hedging toward level two so i feel like maybe we're going to change over to devil by the well and follow that one first let's crack on let's see what i can remember that this is the morning after the night before people <laughs> see what i can remember from what i learned yesterday when i recorded part one and two which you'll have seen by now if you're following such oh, let's plays move out of the way brother come on whoa Once discovered, signposts allow you to travel directly from one location to another. Yes, fast travel, lovely. Walk up to the signpost and press A to fast travel. Marvellous. Smallville. Oh, no, sawmill. I think. <laughs> right, so we can fast travel now. Uh, that said, does that mean we discover... Let's have a look at our maps, people. There's got to be a quick way into this map. Let me know in the comments below if there's a quick button for the map, people. Right. Uh, mind you, you might tell me in the, uh, in Dash Controller menu. I feel like, yeah, there's a, there's a signpost there. Fast travel here, there you go. So we can, in fact, t fast travel all the way back and just do a quick hop. However, I feel, oh, hello, there's a question, there's an exclamation mark there, which we need to go and sort out. Uh, I do want to discover as much on this map as I can, people, so... Uh, I'm also going to slightly be a little bit braver, I think. Oh, there was a question mark there. Uh, uh, exclamation mark there that I wanted to see as well. So I think we'll go for a little ride, because we want to be discovering, and we want to be doing a bit of fighting as well, so... We shall head back that way. There's Roach waiting for us. No need to whistle. Uh, mind you, that said, let's have a little walk, see if we can find a fight. There's usually things lurking by the water. Uh, I'll have a beginning of episode save, methinks. Yeah, there's a wee island over there. See what's what. Let's do a bit of discovery, people. Let's see what's going on in the world. Use your witch senses underwater. There can be quite nasty things lurking on islands in the middle of waters as it happens, so <laughs> be quite careful in this game. Suddenly come across something that's 25 levels ahead of you. I also, we've not got to sailing boats yet as well, which will come soon enough. <clears throat> Alright, there's nothing over here in the end. I can't remember if you can... I mean, using Witcher Senses should pick anything up anyway, no matter where you are, but... Uh, get a decent amount of time underwater, to be fair. Some fish are swimming towards us there. Oh, hello. New marker, Spoils of War. Hello. Whereabouts, sorry? A... What? Well, I'm not seeing anything on the map that's a new marker. Unless I'm sat right on top of it, of course. Let's go down again. Oh, hello. There's, oh, yeah, there's certain herbs and stuff down here, isn't there? I remember now. Let's get a shift on, Geralt. 
Yeah, I remember coming. Oh, hello. We've picked up Buckthorn. That's what we were looking for, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, this could get dangerous here. We need to hurry up. Shit. Go up, go up, go up. And down we go. I knew there was a reason to go swimming, people. Maribor sword. Magic item. Nice. And Florence, for that matter. Well, there you go. We found the old Buckthorn without speaking to the herbalist. It was, this is, in, I mean, by far one of the best RPGs I've ever played, and a, a big part of that reason, hello, I think we've got a fight coming up over here, is because it doesn't make you grind for experience points. In fact, the best way to get experience points is to do the stories and quests. However, it does make you do, oh, hello, guarded treasure. Oh, yeah, here we go, guarded treasure. There'll be a bloody boss out here somewhere. So I think we'll go back and have a bit of a save before we go over there. But it was, yeah, it, well, I say it, it makes you grind for something else. It's not really a grind, but you, it, when you kill enemies in the world, it's giving you all of the things you need when you do your pickups to upgrade your gear and everything. So, and make potions and all that sort of stuff. So you're kind of grinding for the right reasons, not just to clock up points. The points all come from just running through the story and doing the, and which are, by the way, every side quest, every hunt, every story quest side or main are just super interesting as well so it's absolutely fantastic yeah superb you can spend ages grinding away fighting enemies and find you're not making much in the way of xp it's because it's not built to do that early doors though it is a little bit useful hey what am i doing i'm right, just going to do a quick save here and then we'll wander over i feel like this whatever i'm about to fight over there is going to be a little bit uh, tough for us so we could die Let's see what's what. Also, be interested to see if I remember my bloody buttons. <coughs> Gas clouds up. Areas are poisonous. Watch out. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Here you can see all buffs currently affecting your character. Top left there, yeah. Okay. So, is that where our marker was for the guarded treasure, though? That's the question. I feel like the guard. Oh, no, there it's there. Nice. Armor repair kit, cured leather. This is all great stuff, actually. Look at that. Ooh, we've got a stone. A runestone. Lesser Strybog runestone. Straps and leather. Yeah, okay. Marvellous. Now, there are some enemies up here, which we're going to take on, I think. Get ourselves a bit of action going on, people. They could be a bit tougher as... And there's poison in this area. Yeah, they're level 5. It's wolves, that's why. Yeah. Ow. Where's his mate gone? That wasn't too bad. I need to get me dodging on, though. Ah, this could be the guarded treasure right there. Oh, there's an exploding barrel there. Yeah, this is the guarded treasure, in fact. Old goat hide. Oh, nice. Linen, coal. Ooh, another glyph. Lesser glyph of ard. Oil. Dark iron or amber dust. That was something we needed for our level ups. Uh, that costs a fortune to buy as well. Steel ingot. Used in the making of swords and other such things. Also, we need to uh, sort out our weapon, people. You're going to see me do this quite a lot in the game, people. <laughs> Especially after fights. It is very painful if you get really good pickups and you suddenly don't uh, 
you suddenly lose them. Oh, hello. Let's dance. Uh. Oh, it got him straight away. Nice. Ow. Nice. Did right with them, actually. Considering they're level 5 and we're level 1. crate there as well. Nice. More dust. I'm excited about the dust because uh, it's what we use to make, well, upgrade armor and also I think to make the uh, the rune stuffs. I can hear another dog growling somewhere. Does that actually mark it when you've... I think it's like, I think it's possibly pure white when it's marked and sort of Faded when it's not. Sorry, when it's empty and faded when it's not empty. Possibly something like that. Also, I was trying to aim at that to. Yeah, I wonder if we we must get a crossbow or something at some point. Or it could be a different spell, right enough. Yeah, Quen's the protective one. I got confused in the last part because I wasn't putting a big a big circle around me, but that's because you have to level it up first. Uh, right, let's have a quick save, and then we'll have a look at our sockets for things, people. Well, we've got one slot available. Oh, that's an ability. Ah, right, I'm getting confused, actually. I think the things I've been picking up there are for putting in weapons, possibly. <laughs> Information about your most important character statistics, vitality and toxicity. To equip an item, select it and press A. Seems reasonable. I'm sure we've done all this already. The ta uh, this tab shows crafting components and alchemy ingredients. Uh, this tab shows qu quest items and all items which fit in no other categories. This, uh, this tab shows food and items for roach. This tab shows oils, potions and bombs. This tab shows weapons and armor. You can toggle between large and small item descriptions by holding the left stick or turn off item description by pressing the left stick you can see how the given item will look on Geralt by pressing X using the preview option you can see how items will look which you cannot yet equip to choose the order in which items will be shown press the right stick to see character statistics, hold RT or press R1 to go to the statistics panel. You have a Witcher potion, but in order to use it, you first must equip it. Navigate to the usable items tab using right and left, yeah. I uh, didn't mean to do that, actually. <laughs> I've now got confused about which sword. I, did I just put my best one on? I think I might have done. Just by a matter of chance more than anything. LT to compare. Yeah, I did. I put the Maribor sword on. So that sword we got from under the water is actually a really sweet. Excellent. So it's got it's gone up by eleven damage from our original sword, and it's gone up by oh it's got a plus four percent chance of bleed of causing bleeding, and it's got an empty socket as it happens, people. So we might be able to put one of these things into yeah runestone placing an empty socket on a sword to improve its traits. There you go. 
and the lesser glyph of art upgrade upgrade place in an empty socket on a piece of equipment to improve its traits there you go I don't think we have any sockets on our armor as yet so but anyway we've got it if we need it that improves the mess with their mind stuff doesn't it yeah that's a 2% chance to stagger on that one there we go sweet yeah there's a ranged weapon there look there's a socket for the ranged weapon crossbow there I just mentioned momentarily ago right use the d-pad to move across to uh, okay there we go select a potion using the left stick press A to equip it tawny owl potion accelerates stamina regeneration and Wolven Hour temporarily lowers the required level of all items by two. Let's use a Tony Owl for a second. Ah, right, okay, so you can put it into a socket. What's that one doing? Stamina regeneration. Yeah. There we go. Now you can use this potion during gameplay. Press up to activate the potion in the first slot or down to activate the potion in the second socket. How does four different things work, though? I guess we'll find out. Excellent. Right, okay. Well, we're doing well with the swords. Uh, let's just have a look at what else we picked up there. Yeah, we've got another repair kit. Yeah, armor repair kit and weapon. Yeah, they're separate things, aren't they? Weapon and armor repair kits. And this is something you need to keep an eye on in this game because it is not overly forgiving. You need to maintain your equipments, people. Blacksmith can do it, but I think it's cheaper to do it with the, the kits. Uh, quest items we've picked up. Uh, oh, that's other quest items. The... Blackthorn yet, and we've got it out the the bottom of this the riverbed. It's quite a lot to take in at the beginning of this game, but it's all good stuff. Like you know, once you get it get it in your brain, and you get going with it. It gets quite exciting when you pick this stuffs up, people. So it does. Marvelous. Oh. Does it, it must auto-save when you come out of the menu then, does it? Possibly. Right, onward. We've still not hit level 2 yet, though, have we? <laughs> it's like, fucking hell. <laughs> Where's the... Yeah. So that's what I mean, like, just fighting these... Oh, hello, toxicity. Fighting these sort of enemies doesn't really get you particularly far with XP. It's really doing the story stuff that gets you there. It's funny, when you put your witch senses on, you can hear the animals breathing. Like, you can see groups of animals over there, look. I suspect that's wolves again. Uh... Okay. Let's have a little trot. Oh, uh, did I row to the other side? No, I didn't. We need to go over the river. I think we need to find a bridge is what Whoa we need there, to do. Roach. Ah, there's a shallow bit, the looks of it. There's a horse wandering across there, look. <laughs> oh, there's somebody on it. Come on. Hey, mind you, we're not actually going that way, are we? Let's have a, I'm going to go over the river just to see if there's a little signpost over there, maybe. Gives us another fast travel point when we want it. This is Das. An encampment of some kind.
What do you want, wanderer? Yeah, you need to be careful because there is a loot option there. <laughs> Not sure that's a good idea with an officer yes. stood there. I'm pretty sure it said at the beginning of the game they don't tolerate thievery and stuff. Faster. Yeah, there's a question mark there. Could be bandits or something. Or it could be another one. Oh no, it's a house. Move it. White Orchard Cemetery. Yeah, I've got a recollection of a, a spirit of some kind being in this place, people. Which I'm probably not <laughs> ready to be fighting yet. Is that I've saw it's a place of power, isn't it? There'll be something guarding it. Yeah, I feel like a well, silver sword might be enough, right enough. But. Medallion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. There we go. Yeah, level seven fecking wraith. Yeah, fucking hell, I'm getting destroyed by that. Where is it? Whoa, where's it gone? You've gained an ability point. Oh, excellent. Right, we get a level up from these. Press thing button to go to the character panel to learn a new ability. What is that button called these days, people? Is it the menu button? Is that what we're meant to call it? It's always going to be the start button, isn't it? Surely. <laughs> Come on, Garrett, You can do it. There's another question mark over there, though. Character menu. Uh, no, that didn't go to plan, did it? Let's try that again, shall we? There we go, people. When you have gained a certain number of experience points, you advance to the next level. You get experience points for killing monsters and completing quests. Yeah. The experience points for killing low-level monsters is not much. You receive ability points every time you gain a level. Use these points. You can acquire new abilities or improve ones you already have. An ability's colour indicates the branch it belongs to. Use the left stick to select an ability, then develop it by pressing X. X marks the spot. Okay, doke, let's see what we got. A combat. Or, alright, oh, okay, so it's combat, or can we spend one in here then? Oh, these unlock at level. Right, okay, so these unlock naturally as you reach certain levels of, the, of character stat. So at level 6, we'll get that. Ah, level 2, there we go. Level 2, level 4. So that side first. Bigger ones at the bottom. I see. And all ah, right, okay. So you unlock abilities, and then you have to put the abilities in here to use them with you. It's all coming back to me now. Right, fast track, strong attack. I think these are ones we've already got. I think it's these ones we're going to be getting because why we've already got strong attack, haven't we? I think defense we've already got. Uh, marksmanship. This one. This is one of your core abilities. It will always... It is always active. It allows you to wield a light hand-held crossbow. Right, okay. So we've already got all of this stuff, I think. Let's see what this is. Muscle memory. Fast attack damage increases by 10%. Adrenaline point gain plus 1%. Mind you, how do we change the... Ah, there we go. 
There we go. Right, okay, I've got you now. So combat, signs, alchemy, general, and mutagens. And mutagens, as I remember, possibly what we're going to stick over here. Can't remember. <laughs> I'm sure it'll tell me as we go. What are these general ones? Suns and stars. During the day, vitality regenerates an additional 10 points second per second. While well, not in combat. Uh, at night, stamina regenerates an additional 1 points per second during combat. Oh, during combat. Survival instinct. Increase the maximum vitality by 15%. A cat skill techniques. Each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage by 25% and fast attack damage by 5%. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Bloody hell. But these these become appropriate to the type of armor that you're wearing. Like this cat school armor and there we go, griffin school armor and bear school armor. And if I remember rightly, cat is the light armor. I think it's just light, medium, and heavy. I think I usually stick with light. Possibly I won't be medium, but... So you have to kind of make your mind up at that point as to what you're going to be, otherwise you're going to be wasting points. I can't remember if you can respec in this game either. Uh, but they are decent upgrades, to be sure, which have made your decision. Uh, alchemy we won't fuss with at the moment. Igni we can upgrade, though, because I'll definitely use a lot of fire. Well, Quen is a good one to invest in. Always active protective shield. So I'm pretty sure the last time I... The, the times I've played it, I've always heavily invested in Igni and Quen. And you, yeah, exploding shield. There you go. Quen's shield pushes opponents back when it breaks. Stamina regenerates in combat. 0.5%. So it's well worth investing in this. It's 1-3 though. All right, so that's at the next level. Got you. So, I think, though, fast attack damage increases by 10%. I think that's probably a... We should probably do that, I think. Stat, it's a standard sword attack. It's well worth getting early on just to get the extra damage on enemies, I think. Heightened reflexes. Lightning reflexes. Time slowed by an additional 50% when aiming the crossbow. All right, okay, which we don't have yet. Adrenaline point loss upon taking damage is lowered by 33%. Eh, uh, not sure about that one. I'm going to go for the sword one. Let's do it. Yeah, because that's only one of three levels. So fast attack damage increased by 10%. And I assume it's going to be 10% each time. Marvellous. Next level is 20%. Yeah. So, it's going to keep going up. Lovely. Happy with that. It's actually made me want to go to that other place of power that we found, to be fair. Uh, shall we just save it now that we've done that, people? Because we can never have enough saves. Alright, let's just see what the other question mark was. Hmm. Not seeing anything. Stood right on it. Unless it's underground, of course. It is possible. Ah, you know what? It could be... I feel like there's something in this... Could be a quest right enough. Something about this house. Possibly. Unless you go underground, maybe. Really? <laughs> Should we try a bit of uh, fire on it, maybe? Or No, I'll tell you what we can use, actually. What's the one that... Pushes stuff. Is it hard? Yeah. Guarded treasure. No, oh, fuck. Right, okay. We could die in it. Oh, fuck. There, it's back again. It's the Wraith again, isn't it? Fucking. Bastard. Oh, I think we got him. Or her. It's hard to tell. Cortinarius. 
Right. Nice. We've killed our first Wraith people. Oh, hello. Letter from Witcher Colgrim of the Viper School. Ooh, and we've got a diagram for Serpentine Armor Sword. Now, I will make a note of the things I pick up here. I'm not sure what the letter's all about. Well, I'll make a note of the diagrams that I pick up as well. I was just getting out there. And a letter from Colgrim of the Viper School. I feel like the Viper School is going to be something to do with your armors again. Yeah, here we go. What's this doing? Use L to switch between unread books and scrolls. Once read, they are added to the books panel in the glossary. Um... To Ivor of Evil Eye, Master Witcher of the Viper School. I have now found all the legendary diagrams once belonging to our order. Certain complications have arisen, however. On the way back to our keep, I stopped to rest the night in a village in the Temerian borderlands. The blasted peasants decided to make me into their scapegoat and accused me of kidnapping some beekeeper's brat. They took me into the local... Lord, uh, Lordling's castle for interrogation during which they found and confiscated one of the diagrams but not to fear I will get it back they did not find the others I think this is just basically suggesting where you might want to look for things I have invoked Timerian law and demanded a trial by ordeal instead of submitting to the whims of the baronet my request, uh, my request was granted, and tomorrow I am to cleanse the Baronet's family crypt of wraiths. I expect this will prove little trouble. Perhaps I will already have returned to our keep by the time you receive this letter. Light the furnaces. We'll have some forging to do. Ah, yeah, there's my devil by the well that I picked up and other such things. Marvellous. Scavenger hunt. There you go. Viper school gear. The contents of what ha uh, what you have read have been moved to the glossary. Oh, that was before. But yeah, so that's given us a quest to go looking for armour, effectively. Treasure hunts. There you go. Marvellous. Level 6. So we'll leave that till later, I think. Uh, search the castle ruins. Find diagrams of all elements of the Viper School. One of two. Um, be interesting to know where that is, though. I'll highlight it for a second just to see where it points us to. I feel like there might be other things in here, though. Yeah. Should we put, try and put the lights on, people? I thought you could just walk up to these, you know, and... You know, uh, yeah, you can. You can just hit the old uh, A on them, I think. <laughs> Come on, let me light the lanterns. What's going on here? Why doesn't it just give me an A button to press? I thought it did. That's very odd, because I'm sure it gave me an A there a second ago. So what's going on with that? I'm not getting the... There you go. You get an Igni symbol on it, and then... There you go. So it gave me an A there just for a brief second, but I can't seem to get it to home in on it. Right, I don't know what that's all about, people. Quite clearly wants me to light the lamps, but it won't let me do it. Cavalry gauntlets. And a blunt axe. Oh, Lovigrad Longsword, Master Item. Holy shit. Uh, Kildarian Gambeson. Let's 
Let's see if we can do this one here. Oh, there's another Igni on the floor, look. There you go. I can ignite that. But for some reason, I can't... I can't get the lanterns to do it. Yeah. I wonder if it is just what it is in this particular place. You can't do these, then. Seems a bit strange. Oh, there you go. I can do that one. Yeah, I don't know what was going on over that other corner. Yeah, you walk up to it, give it a bit of a witcher sense, and then you can light it. It's a bit more like it, people. That's the way we came in. Oh, there you go. Seem to let me do it. Oh. <laughs> Seem to let me do it there now. Shut the gate on myself at the same time. Well, I seem to have got the hang of it now, people. Yeah, these ones still seem to be a bit funky, though. I don't know what's going on with those. Yeah. Well, let me do those two for some strange reason. I wonder if they may be part of a quest later on or something. Aha! Can we go in there? We cannot. I can't actually use my powers down here. I just can. Talking nonsense. Can't go up there. Yeah, well, actually, funnily enough, this is where the question mark is, isn't it? Because I'm looking above, and that's where Roaches stood. So, definitely, definitely where we were meant to come. Marvellous, right? This place is clean, people, I think you'll find. Well, we did well down there. Mm, magic. A place of power. Yes, yes, Geralt. We know this already. You've already got it. So, well, we did find another place of power. If we could kill that enemy as well as we killed that one, um, we'd get another upgrade point pretty swiftly. Blimey, eh? Where are we on the map now? Can you teleport to a place of power? It doesn't look like it, does it? It's just signposts. Okay, that's the camp we came in on. So technically speaking, we want to go left. I feel like we'll find some signposts over here. Let's go left. Left. Yeah. Lynx. Roach. Lynx. That is correct. I do feel like I might be wandering into a cursed village here, though. I have to turn back. Steady. <laughs> Easy, Roach. Let's go! Looks absolutely stunning, people. Bear in mind we're in performance mode here. Beautiful, buttery smooth 60 FPS is just gorgeous, people. <coughs> um, why am I starting to feel like I'm actually somewhere I'm meant to be? Anyway. Some objects can be destroyed. Such objects are marked with a blah icon. To destroy objects, to open up a path, face them and cast the Ard sign. It's it Ard, people. That's how I'm going to remember that one. Ard and Igni. So that's A and LT are the two big ones I'm using at the moment. Uh, another option to 
is to toss a grape shot bomb at the object, but be careful not to get hurt by the explosion. Seems reasonable. Yeah, here we go. Feel like it's telling me to go down the stairs, isn't it? I forgot how joyous it was to investigate this world, actually. The little nooks and crannies and places to... Places to find and stories to unfold. I mean, this is kind of quite cool. This is where the quick casting is coming in really handy, because you don't keep having to do the old go in here, pick out a blah, you know. Uh, we cut our torch on, though. Okay. Quick access menu. Which we've barely touched because of the quick signing. Uh, overly sure how... Alright, oh, okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff in the bottom left. Which... Yeah, that's my swords. Wow, check that sword out. Fucking hellfire, that's awesome. Got the magics on it. That's the rune that we put in it, isn't it? Check that out. Yeah, at the bottom left there, we've got a bunch of stuff that we can use. But I only seem to be able to use up and down, which is using the bread and the water. That used the water. That's used the bread. So how the feck do I use the other items down there on the left? But no idea. Has to be away, people. There has to be a way of quickly putting me torch on. Come on now. So I've just selected the torch, but he's not doing anything with it. Well, I think we found a bit of treasure here, people. What do you think? Hunting gauntlets. More orange. Ah, oh, it's red. Why is it red? Locked. Key required. God damn it. Dark steel plate. More orange. Ooh. Resin. Oh, we've got a lesser Dazbog runestone. Diagram. Oh, Dorian sword diagram. Another thing we can make. Uh, nice. Basilisk decoction. Cavalry boots and more orange. Nice. Bit of a find, wouldn't it? Nothing else is glowing in this here parts. But it'll save though. Another house up there. Oh, there's a few actually. There's one in the middle as well. I think we rode past this one to be fair. Just a wee shack. What's happened here? Is he dead? It really looks like it. I 
I think I missed a trick the previous times I've played this with dismantling things for... For using for crafting, getting items for crafting, good stuffs. Yeah, can't seem to go in there. It does that sometimes when it's a questy place, though, doesn't it? I think. Yeah. Six twenty-five a.m. Didn't look in the windmill, did we? I'm curious, actually, as to whether I can... Uh, <laughs> whether I can set fire to those big hay things in the middle. Oh, hello. Nice. Another master item. We have picked up a few bits now that we haven't checked out. Nice, nice, nice is nice. Well, <laughs> my boots look a bit funky. What's going on with those? Can we not spin him round? You spin, Geralt, right round, right round, round. <clears throat> so, compare is LT. Well, that Master Sword is a comparison to... The Maribor sword. The Maribor sword's got a chance of bleeding on it, and it's a magical sword. That's a master sword that's got. Yeah, it's not as good. It's telling me that my Maribor sword is plus three above the Novigrad longsword. So we can probably sell that. Uh, we did pick up another socket. Now here's the thing. I can't remember. I don't think we can de-socket items. I think uh, we have to do that at a smithy if we can do it at all. Maybe. Well, we can try it, I suppose. What does it do? Chance of burning. Uh, yeah, I can't fit any grub there. Yeah, it's magic. Can't okay, unuse socket. So I think I think we need to unsocket at a a smithy. Yeah, just unequip. Yeah, need to do that at Smithy, I think. Ah, right, okay. Player stats, there you go. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Gives you your overall statistics and everything you've got on. Now you can tap it and just leave it there. Or you can hold it down and just toggle. Sweet. Right, what have we got here? Well, it seems to be that half the stuff we're picking up. I think we go through a phase of wearing stuff that doesn't look anywhere near as cool <laughs> until such time as we can level up the cool-looking armor. Um, that Those gloves are better. Those gloves are better. And those gloves are better. Yeah. Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, they're light. They're medium. And they're light. So they're plus two. So the master ones are the better ones, I think. How... Hmm. Oh, required level there is. I was seeing the three armor, and I was wondering... Yeah, it's required level is one, that's fine. I thought it meant level three to use them. All right, let's get those on then. Marvellous. It's worth hanging on to the Witcher items because you can level those up into a new form, as I remember. Um, plus five armor on those cavalry boots, apparently. The Gambison, I'm sure, goes underneath the armor, I feel like. Or am I misunderstanding? Maybe I'm misunderstanding. But it's got plus 11 armor on it, and it's light. 
Maybe not then. We're going to be running around with this stuff on for a while. Mind you, this has got a resistance to slashing damage and resistance to damage from monsters and resistance to elemental damage as well, which I'm kind of ignoring. But the base armor is a lot less. Uh, compare LT. Yeah, so the resistances are... Mind you, the other one's got resistances on it. The only thing we're, we're, we're losing a little bit of slash damage and bludgeoning damage by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. I think the, the one we've just put on is not quite as... It needs more repairing than the one that we've just taken off. But anywho, is there a junk? Can we junk stuff in here or not? Doesn't look like it. You can drop stuff, but you can't uh, stick it in a stash or anything. Right, I think that's it, people. I don't think we need to do anything else. Steel sword. Steel sword. Master sword wasn't as good. I wonder why those axes are in other. They're just to be... All right, just for selling in... They don't... All right, they don't get classified as weapons. They're just for selling or collapsing for items. That's why. That's good. Okay. Apologies if it's not overly exciting, me sitting in these menus, but it is well worth understanding what the bloody hell you're on with in here. For sure, people, that's how you get yourself ubered up. Uh, not seeing in that menu why I've still got a little asterisk above the cogs. I feel like I've highlighted everything already. Yeah, it's gone now. Right. Onward. Yeah, I remember going through a patch of the game where you're just kind of wearing some random gears until you get the stuff you need to level up. Your cool looking gears. And do your treasure hunts and stuff to get the really cool stuffs. Uh, doesn't look like we can get up there, does it? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> of course it's locked. I do, I feel like maybe we fight the griffin around these parts. I remember a, a windmill in the griffin section when you fight the griffin. Alright, Roach, let's get going, buddy. Right, we're, uh, we were looking for a signpost, weren't we, really? Yeah, we've kind of gone all the way around there. <laughs> As it happens, we're doing a long way round to come back to where we need to go anyway. I mean, there's a huge amount to discover up here, but we're not going to do that just now. We're going to come back round. So let's just follow the road round. Come on now. Follow our nose, people. Let's do it. Come on now. Bunch of wild horses over there. I don't, I don't recall there being any sort of horse capturing in this game, but am I forgetting something, people? There is some dead enemy, uh, dead enemies kicking around these parts, though. Yeah, you have to axe them and then you can use them. I just happened to grab the white one there, didn't I? When I axed it. Does that mean that I can then change Roach to be a different kind of horse, maybe? I don't know. That was totally the wrong thing, Steve. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Do 
Giddy up. Yeah, I can't remember what goes on with this. I mean, I, I, I kind of have a vague memory of doing that, which is why I did it in the first place, but I don't recall whether you can make Roach now this black horse and not the brown one. Yeah, not sure about that one. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything about that. Uh... I guess what I could do is just call Roach and see if it changes horses, but I, I doubt it will do. Nah, it's still, still the same Roach coming to me. Alright. I will try and pick up whatever's on this enemy, though. Raw meat. Keep a witcher senses on for a bit, see if we pick anything up. The game is very good at opening stuff up on the map as you do the sort of side quests and stuff. It is pretty good at that. Yeah, to be fair, we could have just teleported back to that. I do want to go and get those question marks though, because uh, exclamation marks, because there was one there, and we've still got one highlighted over there as well. Uh... All ah, right, okay. There's where our actual point is. There. Oh, that's Vipers. Oh, I changed it to the Viper School gear, didn't I? Yeah, let's keep doing that. Actually, let's keep going for that that's one it, for now. Roach. Yeah, because you just uh, you only have to discover a signpost. I'm pretty sure you don't have to touch it or anything. Yeah, I remember coming past this wall. Well, here actually is where the marker is for those for the Viper School gear. It'd be up there, I think. Uh, can we go down here? It's like a bit of a ledge, isn't it? Probably easier to drop down and then just call him again. Oh, run. Yeah, look, there's a question mark up there now. Whoa. Thought there was a cave down there for a second. There we go. Thank 
you. Dog tallow, of course it is. A wolf's liver, nice. Yeah, how the feck do we go up there? You think I'd be able to climb it, but it's not letting me. Gotta be a way up here, people. Come on now. Oh, hang on a minute, what's that over there? Can I go up that way? Roaches. <laughs> I think I've come down and I didn't need to, haven't I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Who put me in charge, people? Oh, there's a bridge over there. Yeah, this is a dead end. Holy shit, people. What's happening? There's a little fight down there on that beach. Might have a go at. Yeah, it's possible we can just walk up there. <laughs> Stood right next to where I need to go. Alright. This guy's going to want a fight in here, I think. Your is mine. Don't think so, mate. Oh, fuck, he's not dead. Oh, he's a different one. Oh, there it goes. Chicken sandwich. Oh, nice. I'll take that. I quite like the fact that some of their stuff is just uh, for collapsing. Like, it never goes into your inventory for using as weapons. Like, most RPGs just go, yeah, 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 it's just another club that you can pick up and sell. But it puts it specifically in a section of the... of your menu items or inventory that uh, is specifically for collapsing or selling. Some of them. I mean, not those two swords. They'll go into the... can sell those, though, still. Right. Can we find this diagram, people, is the question. Angrily scrawled notes. What am I supposed to fucking die for, Tamiria? <laughs> Tamiria? Da, 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 da died for that. So did my three brothers. And what did that get them? Fuck all. That's what? Not even a decent burial. Da always said, a wise man learns from others' mistakes. So here I am learning from his. And instead of dying for Tamiria, I'm going to rob those who killed Tamiria's sons. We've pitched a camp. Got us a great spot. Middle of the woods. Near the old mill. Now we're all set up to go on our first raid. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Alchemist's powder. Oh, 
Ooh, lesser glyph of igni from a sack, no less. Oh, actually, no. Maybe it wasn't. No, maybe it was. Yeah. Chest. There you go. Diagram, serpentine steel sword. go can get that crafted now if well we need the items to craft it but we've got the diagram to do it now interrogation report scavenger hunt viper school gear quest complete location amavet fortress persons taking part sir Igna ignatius variaris yes that's what i said variaris <laughs> bart the Balif and Andreas Bloom. So, yeah, okay, that's enough of that, Steve. Subject, Colgrim, Witcher of the Viper School. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Vitti, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchard. Suspect was detained pending trial. Upon detention, he was searched, and a diagram for the forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likewise suspected that the accused possesses other such diagrams for forging of death-dealing implements, though none have been found to date. So Ignatius, or Ignatius, has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary interrogation with the application of torture. This will take place once a torturer with the proper qualifications has been found. <laughs> qualifications. <laughs> You've got to have your GCSE in bloody torturing. It w uh, Addendum. It was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colgrim died before this information reached the investigators. For rather than face the baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. So Ignatius agreed and ordered he cleansed the... Verriera's family crypt of spectres. Colgrim never emerged from the crypt. It is highly likely the motley wraith spectres and evil, pa evil powers residing therein proved too much for him. And there you go. The diagram quest is done, people. We've got a little set of things there. We've got two items. Well, two diagrams there, didn't we? Yeah, it'd be nice. That's probably the only thing that's missing in this inventory is the ability to either scrap which you can do at a, a blacksmith's or stick it in a junk pile uh, i feel like you can shove stuff into the saddlebags of the horse once we buy the saddlebags but i bought the wrong thing by mistake didn't i when we were at the shops <laughs> when we were at the shops people I'm uh, pretty sure everything we've picked up is sellable at this point, apart from glyphy type stuffs and Rooney type stuffs. Now, actually, that club did go into our inventory. <laughs> so did the axe after me saying all that. But it does, it did put certain axes and clubs in the other inventory, to be fair. We are picking up plenty of crafting stuff, you know. God, these sticks are sensitive. Right, onward. Uh, what quest is it highlighted for us, people? Yeah, it's gone back to the main one. So we'll go back to Devil by the Well, I think. Hey. Yeah, okay. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to here. Oh, right, okay. 
Yeah, I remember this. You've actually got to be at a signpost to teleport to a signpost, <laughs> which is a bit frustrating. Uh, yeah, this is why it was important to find signposts. Yeah, so we would have to go to there in order to teleport to there. Uh, well, actually, there's one there. Ranshack Village. Uh, can I jump down here without killing myself, people? What do we think? Yeah, we didn't actually go into the Ransack Village, to be fair, did we? Oh, yeah, we did. We came through this pathway here. So it must have... It's clearing up. May the sun shine upon you. And you, my friend. What now? Yeah, the signpost must have triggered as we were close enough to it. Oh, fucking hellfire. Mate, you already stood there. Feels a bit harsh stealing his stuff, right? You know what I mean? His dad's lying dead on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I know where we are, actually. We're, we're back to where we started with the uh, when we rode in with Vesemir. So that signpost was already known to us, actually. Yeah, there you go. So you activate the signpost, and then you pick the other one you want to go to. However, before we do that, there's actually a little fight down here that I fancy doing. Which could get us into a spot of bother, but you know. Yeah. A little bit of a wandering episode, this people. We've done a, a couple of side bits, but you know, I'm just wanting to investigate this beautiful world in 60 FPS. And just discover all the glorious things that are in this game. Right, let's just have a little... Uh... I'm trying to see... Uh... What's the latest one? Yeah, it's the one at the top. So it is doing it. Yeah, it's putting the latest ones at the top. That's fine. The fight was up the other way, I realise, but uh, I think we'll have a little look in the water. Perfect weather for a voyage. You've reached the edge of the world. Oh. <laughs> ah, right, okay. Yeah, I remember this being a thing as well. Um, it seemed like I was allowed to go places, but not in the fashion that I was doing it, which just seemed a bit odd. It happened to me in a boat as well as I was trying to go round a river. It's like, you've reached the edge of the world, and it's like, what? I don't know why it was saying it over there, but it's not saying it here, sort of thing. Yeah, there's the, there's the fight up there, but there's a, there is a hidden treasure up where that fight is, to be fair. Too far afield, this. Yeah, edge of the world again. So we're not allowed to... Uh, we're not allowed to go over that way. Fair enough. So it's kind of open world. <laughs> it does limit you in places though. Guarded treasure. Here we go. Now ah, they're only level three. So it might be alright. Oh fuck. What the shit? How did I die there? Did I have very little health there? That's first death, people. I don't feel like I should have died there. He seems to do a lot of damage to me. Shit me.
Yeah, I'm gonna die, I think that's what's telling me. Yeah. Wow, I wasn't expecting them to do that much damage. I could put my shield up right enough. I haven't used my shield, have I? I need to remember which one that is, though. Yeah, odds push. Igni's fire. It's Quen, isn't it? It's B that I need. Let's try putting our... Not sure how long it lasts. Oh, he's level four, that one. Fuck. Just cocked it up. Yeah, one of them's alright. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I'm getting hurt again. Fuck me, there's more of them over there, look. It takes ages to get your health up with food, though. Fucking hellfire. That stench. Nice, got them. Get good stuff out of these drowners as well. I think they respawn these these enemies as well. All oh, right. I think yeah. I think I seem to remember that it does kind of lump together sometimes your pickups, but oh, it didn't do this one. <laughs> Woo! A Vicaria, a uh, Vic, Vic, <laughs> Vic, Vicovaro, Vicovaro blade. Lesser Velez runestone. Oh, hello. Diagram. K Dwenny. Would help if I knew how to spell Gambus and people, wouldn't it? I'm just making a note of where I found things. Tawny Owl, man, yeah. Hunting boots. Nice, getting a few of these runes now. <laughs> Dancing star, I wonder what that does. Right, well that was worth it, I think. I tell you, we should definitely have a save, though. <laughs> First little fight that tested us, people. Not overly sure I can get out up here. Did I collect the stuffs from the two last ones I killed? Must have done. It's interesting, that, though. So what's the, the map saying? If I point over there. 
know, it does seem to suggest it's an area of world that I'm allowed to investigate. Maybe not yet, then. Oh, there's more of them. Shit. <laughs> not overly sure I want to take more of them on. I just saved it, though, so I suppose we can give it a go. Out. Yeah, that quench shield does its business like. Definitely invested in the old quen. That's unbelievable. I remember the quen being seriously powered like when you upgrade it. Superb. Yeah, didn't seem to get drops off of each of those, did I? I am very conscious that I've gone super over the hour mark here, people. Just enjoying it so much. I'm just going to try this water again, just one more time now that we're further up the coast. Because I should, in theory, be able to swim over there. If you'll ever start swimming. Yeah, it's not it's not telling me to go back this time. It must just have been that segment of water that wasn't allowed. More pickups over here, though. Is he alive or dead? No, it's just a dead one, isn't it? Right, there we go. Onward! Oh, <laughs> I just realised where I am, actually. It's in a massive circle from where I was trying to get up that thing, I think. Yeah, I was there, look. Well, I think at the beginning of the next part, we certainly want to be going to a ye old blacksmith or something. Certainly selling a bunch of stuff we've picked up, maybe buying ourselves some saddlebags, maybe. And possibly looking at some of these diagrams we've picked up as well. I'd like to know what the taming of horses is all about, though. Well, I think that is a superb place to wrap things up, people. We're going to go to our marker, and we've got a couple of exclamation marks we want to go to as well. So we're going to head towards the marker, and while we're on with it, we'll go to the blacksmith who's in this place anyway. Ah, oh, thoroughly enjoyed that, people. Superb. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with all its new-gen glory, and I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.